Hey, Psych2Goers, we hope you're doing well and are finding time for self-care. Let's begin. Are you your own worst enemy? Do you have high hopes and goals for the future, but find yourself falling behind? Self-sabotage comes in many forms and inhibits you from getting what you want out of life. But how can we stop sabotaging ourselves? Well, here are five ways. Quick disclaimer, the information in this video is not intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. All content contained in this video is for general informational purposes only and does not replace a consultation with your doctor or mental health professional. Let's begin. Number one, reframe your state of mind. When you get a bad grade on a test, how do you feel? Are you down on yourself for not knowing the answers, feeling that you aren't good enough? Psychologist Judy Ho developed a chart that showcases how your interpretation of an event affects your feelings, ultimately leading to how you act. By taking a step back and looking at each component, you can better find different causes that lead to certain actions. Once you have an understanding of this chain reaction, you can better find ways to change your outlook on situations. Perhaps instead of feeling down on yourself for a bad grade, you think of it from the perspective that you weren't prepared enough and can take steps to get a better grade next time. This is a growth mindset and allows you to view failures as opportunities to learn and develop rather than bring you down. Number two, work on your self-worth. Do you believe that you don't deserve the things you want? That your hopes and dreams are better off going to someone else? With a self-sabotaging mindset, you may also have a low sense of self-worth. Organizational psychologist, Courtney Ackerman, describes self-worth as our tendency to evaluate our abilities and how we perform our roles. She outlines what does not determine your self-worth that we generally hold in high value. Things like your job, age, grades, or the number of friends among many others should not determine how you view yourself and what you will be able to accomplish. Rather, you should focus on what makes you happy and what you find fulfilling, working towards what you truly want versus what society wants out of you and finding your own meaning of self-worth can go a long way. Number three, find a strong support network. Do you find yourself getting stuck from time to time? That you wanna go down a certain life path but don't know where to start? Getting the things you want out of life can seem extremely daunting and be next to impossible to do alone. Finding and surrounding yourself with the right group of people, mentors, and friends to help support you will help you develop a strong support network. If you find yourself stuck, it can be easy to stay there, which is why it's important to find the right people that understand your situation to help propel you forward. Number four, break down your goals and celebrate small victories. Are you finding yourself setting large goals, but you never achieve them? Or perhaps you push your ideas off for as long as you can. According to psychologist, Dr. Melanie Greenberg, one form of self-sabotage is procrastination. Sometimes your need to get it right makes you nervous, so you push off your task until the last minute. You then sacrifice quality in order to get it done. It can help to vary up your goals and celebrate the small victories you have, instead of embarking on doing one large project all at one time you could break your large goal into smaller goals and treat yourself as you accomplish them one at a time while learning along the way. This helps develop a growth mindset, which allows you to focus more on improving yourself and growing your skills over time rather than getting stuck on the bigger picture. Celebrating small victories and opportunities to learn can help motivate you for larger goals and make these daunting tasks seem more manageable. And number five, talk it out. Do you feel that it's troublesome to communicate your needs to your significant others? It can feel incredibly difficult to open up to another person. However, you may feel trapped by keeping your emotions inside. When you notice yourself going into a self-sabotaging behavior, it can help to talk with a trusted person about it. Telling another person about what behavior you're taking part in can help discourage you from taking part in it. So finding someone who will listen and comfort you can help you get out of the self-destructive rabbit hole. As always, if you find that your self-sabotaging behaviors are significantly hurting you, it may be worth finding a mental health professional to talk with. Self-sabotaging behaviors can turn you into your worst enemy. These tendencies can be hard to recognize and treat on your own. However, recognizing areas for improvement and finding the right support network will help you on your path for self-improvement. Did you find this video helpful? Let us know in the comments down below. Remember to reach out to a qualified professional if you find yourself struggling. Be sure to like and share the video with anyone you feel will benefit from it. Make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and turn notifications on to keep up with our uploads. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. We'll see you next time.